Okay, for the final comment, it's gonna be this app. He said, um, yes, you're showing way too much concern for the customer. It's an on-demand and not a pre-booked service. So they have to be ready, particularly for uber full customers. Three minutes is way too much time anyway. You show more concern for customers than yourself, which means less concerns for fellow drivers. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You had a cancer within Uber. You were fighting, people fighting for better conditions and you float about totally clueless. Not talking about real concerns um, for drivers, but about customer concerns. Oh, riders only have three minutes. I feel so sorry for them. Pure lunacy, rude boy. Okay, um, give me my viewpoint on this one. Um, as I said previously, um, my comments are across the board. Um, I'm gonna speak about um, what I know other drivers are talking about and what concerns they have, but I'm also gonna speak about um, what passengers are saying and what concerns they have also. So I like to have a balanced approach. Um, I'm not pro driver, I'm not pro passenger, I'm not pro Uber. Um, I like to have a balanced view and I'll kind of always leave it out there for people to put their comments in, be it positive or negative. Um, to this day, I haven't blocked anyone yet you know, I appreciate all comments, you know, even if you are insulting me, I mean, it's the way of the world. There are going to be some people who insult, and there are going to be some people who drop a lot of knowledge. Uh, Starscream 7, 7ZZ, uh, you're dropping a lot of knowledge here, man, and I appreciate your comments. Um, sometimes I think we're going to have to agree to disagree, but I know your, your comments are reaching a bigger audience, and um, they're much appreciated. Um, am I the cancer with an Uber? Um, I don't think so. Um, I've... I have had a particularly good experience with Uber. Um, Uber's helped me to get on the property ladder. Um, as I said, it's helped um, uh, yeah, bring some of my targets and my financial goals forward, um, and I enjoy that. So, um, as I said before, I do this on a casual basis, so my view is gonna be totally different from somebody whose sole income is reliant on Uber. Obviously, there are other apps out there. Um, maybe they're not as big yet. Um, we've got Taxify coming back. We've got um, the one in South West London, I can't even think of it at the start right now, but they're, 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 they're in Kingston at the moment and they're moving in gradually, but um, it's a slow process, so hopefully they'll pick up soon, but I'll talk about that in more depth in another video. Um, and what else? Um, you mentioned that it's an on-demand service and not a pre-booked service. Well, technically it's both. Um, when you order a car, it says, um, I mean, think about your bookings being accepted and now we're trying to, we're gonna find you a vehicle and a driver. So technically it's an on-demand service um, and it is pre-booked, even if the, I mean, you book it and I mean, you get in your car in two minutes. I mean, it is a bit of both, but that's besides the point. I, I understand the point that you're trying to make. I mean, it is more so an on-demand service. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to agree to disagree. Um, if anybody else is watching this video and you have any comments, um, or questions uh, to pose about anything um, that I've stated or anything, any of the points that um, Starscream7ZZ has pointed out, um, please leave comments below. Um, I'll try and get back, to, get back to you. And Starscream7ZZ, if you're watching this video, and um, I'll hope that you can um, kind of respond kindly to some of the comments that are left by other YouTubers. Um, yeah might have to agree to disagree on some of the issues. Um, as I said, Uber has worked really well for me um, and it's changed my life. And um, yeah, this is casual, casual gig guy London, um, not really relying on this money solely. So it's not really, these small changes that they're making to the, to the, to the pay is not really affecting me whatsoever. You know, it's having minimal effect. Um, and obviously there's all, obviously surges that occur once in the blue moon. So, I mean, all that works well as well. That's your little bonus. I mean, every day when you get a couple of surges and so on and so forth. Or if you get stuck in a surge area for, for a couple of hours, it just boosts your pay real quick, you know? But, I mean, this is how Uber works in London. I mean, I'm averaging 20 pound an hour. Um, other cities, obviously it's different, but your comments are appreciated um, a lot. And it's nice to get um, a good viewpoint, even though there are some, some insults in it, you validate your points extremely well. And for that, um, I just want to say thank you. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions on uh, any future videos, or, um, or I mean, um, 
give me a shout. <laughs> that's all. That's all I got to say. This is the gig guy, London, and I'm signing out. Peace. <laughs>